Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing a pick a card reading for messages from your deceased loved ones. This is going to be a very in-depth pick a card reading. All right and before we get into this reading you guys we have four piles as follows. All right so we have group number one which is the clear quartz raw crystal. We have group number two. We have group number three, which is the how light crystal. And we have group number four. All right. I am going to pause and let you guys, you know, meditate over the cards before you pick your pile selection and play some meditation music. After that, if you go in the description box down below, there will be timestamps for you guys to pick your card selection. All right. group number one let's go ahead and get right into you guys this reading okay so let's start with the tarot cards we have the page of swords we have the page of swords we have the five of pentacles we have the high priestess And we have the Eight of Cups. All right. The numerology cards that you guys have, for which you guys should be focusing on, is number 57, Teaching and Learning. Number six, Love. And lastly, number five, Change. You have two fives that are here, actually, with this Five of Pentacles and the Change. So let's go ahead and get right into this. What's really sticking out right now is the high priestess. And the messages that you're receiving is right now, you need to be following your intuition, not ignoring your intuition, loving and honoring the messages and the downloads that you're receiving for you to make the decisions that you need to make in your future and for right now. And the decisions that you're making right now is going to project your future. All right. So let's get into the spread. We have the Page of Swords. Now with the Page of Swords energy, especially it being upright, this is somebody who is very clever. This is somebody who is able to communicate. And spirit can see that there's something that you may be secretly working on it may secretly be putting your energy into it's time it's time to dabble into that it's time to you know stay secretive and that may be a project that you may be working on um during this time that you're watching this video because this video is timeless this energy is telling you yes it's good for you to start a new journey regardless if it has something to do with your health going back to school exercising um communicating more um showing more love changing up your routines with this page of swords energy i do see you guys starting something new pertaining to that i also do see you guys um being called to read more books 
during this time, helping your um, speech, um, your literature. Um, Spirit is asking for you to start reading more, you know, even if it's like an audio book, you discovering um, words that have more meaning to it, um, branching out on your vocabulary. I'm seeing that Spirit is saying, hey, you need to be going out reading more books to make you be more well-rounded. There may be a goal that you've set for you to be more advanced in a certain area in your life and reading may help you get there is what i'm seeing five of pentacles here i am seeing that you know your deceased loved ones is saying pay attention to your finances try not to overspend during this time pay attention to where your money is going where are you investing your time with? The people that are in your environment, do they fully support you? Do they fully have your back? Are the people in your circle, do they love you? Do they have your best interest? It's time to reevaluate your circle during this time. And like we said earlier with the high priestess energy, you guys, it's time to follow your intuition. And for a lot of you guys who picked this pile, you know who it is that has your back you know who it is who is there for you who cares about you who wants to see you succeed and with this pile right here i see you guys really soul searching finding yourself and this is clarification that you are on the right journey you are on the right path for you to be questioning yourself asking hmm should i be doing this oh i should be doing better i can do better that is a good thing for you to be knowing right now and to be asking yourself because that means that you care about your future and this clarification of you soul searching and seeking and diving deeper you're going to be learning new things about yourself okay you're going to be teaching yourself new things And then you have this teaching and learning, this love, this change that your angels and ancestors, your deceased loved ones are wanting you to focus on during this time. You need to be focusing on learning new things, teaching yourself things, things that may have traumatized you in your past. What did you learn from them? Reevaluating from the trauma. <coughs> Excuse me love your love partnerships like we talked about earlier the people that you involve yourself with do they really have your best interests do they really support you change changing up the people in your circle changing up your routine your angels and ancestors really want you to be focusing on that during this time so we're going to get into the moonology cards so we can see what energies are surrounding you guys during this time and first we see emotions are running high with this super moon energy. This may be a very emotional time for you because you're really trying to figure yourself out. You're trying to find yourself. You're trying to be on the right path. You're trying to be on one accord. Your commitment is being tested. Are you really going to try? You know, your angels and ancestors are supporting you. Your deceased loved ones are supporting you during this time because they have your back. They want the best for you, right? But your commitment is going to be tested to see if you're going to be able to withhold and withstand this position that you have in life, this purpose that you have in life. You also have this message saying you are very close to achieving your goal. It's time to achieve your goals. It's time to show up for yourself. It's time to be there for yourself. And for those who support you and love you and care about you. The messages you have from spirit is messenger. A lot of you guys are going to receive a message during this week that's really going to give you the signal, that's really going to give you the green light to go ahead and follow your dreams and discipline yourself. Messenger is about the serious energy, bringing harmony and balance into your life, that equality, that equally yoked energy. 
you guys also have double mission okay this double mission energy is about the light worker star seed serve the world by being you a lot of you guys are probably needing to get into this holistic healing doing readings for other people helping people through readings we have weight all right it's not yet time things are being woven this process that you're going through right now be patient hold on time is coming things are coming into fruition for you it's still being woven. The basket is still being woven. The path is still being created. We have I remember. Okay. This is the soul plan. The faded life vs. the destiny life. Okay. It's time to realize that your faded life does not have to be your destiny. You can change it. You can pray your way out of some situations. You can work towards some of those situations. You can manifest your way out of it. And manifestation works if you work towards it, okay? Now let's get into these Black Moon Astrology cards. Um, this is a message that we have from Spirit that we need to talk about. So the first card is number 29, which is the fifth house, which rules creativity. Um, it also rules children as well as the, um, the zodiac sign, which is Leo. We also have the 12th house energy, which is number 36, which is escape, which is Pisces energy. So we're going to read into that for your messages. So let's talk about it. So with the fifth house energy, creativity. A lot of you guys are probably going to be getting creative during this time, especially with this change. So every child is an artist. The problem is staying an artist when you grow up. This is by Pablo Picasso. Be happy. Give yourself the gift of happiness. If the Zodiac had a fun house, it would be the fifth house. Pleasure, creativity, and children are all elements of this house. Being ingenious and in the limelight is another element. We find our childlike imaginations through storytelling and fantasy. Playing is very much what the fifth house is all about. That's why this part of the chart also rules over romance, especially the beginning stages. As children, our imaginations know no bounds and we indulge in creative performances. When as adults we dip into the field, we allow our minds and hearts to roam free and produce masterpieces. When the fifth house brings romance, we also enter into a kind of playfulness, a sensual joy that happens inside the playground of adulthood. This card turning up in a reading indicates that you have created or will begin to create something to be proud of, something that will bring others joy. It may have you on a stage or just an area where adults can let down their hair and become as children, responsive, joyful, and free. You can expect the completion of a project or the accomplishment of a significant goal for which there will be a celebration. You are very close to achieving your goals is what we have right here. All right. You have put hard work into a project and will now see the results. Gifts, parties, gatherings, premieres, galas, or even a wedding may figure in. You could become involved in a school setting with children or mostly young adults teaching and learning this type of energy. For those of you guys who have been trying to figure out what your calling is, a lot of you guys, it may be being a reader, a holistic doctor, teaching children, or going back to school, learning from somebody else. <clears throat> Since the fifth house is the natural house position for the sign of Leo, someone close to you, a potential lover, a mate, or the two of you together will make a striking appearance. It's time to go out and be seen. This card may turn up during the time of a budding romance. Perhaps your current relationship will go through a positive transformation or perhaps there is a new potential mate on the scene. The fifth house is also strongly tied to artistic expression, meaning art of every kind from painting to drawing to creating stage sets, costuming, 
writing stage and screenplays, making films, as well as music. If you are a parent, the fifth house stands for your children. It also stands for other offspring, such as grandchildren and sometimes even the prince of your children. This card turning up could indicate that a younger relative is about to be singled out for a special acknowledgement. The Jupiter card appearing next to the fifth house card in a spread points to awards and rewards, while the Saturn card next to the fifth house could indicate a depression or the slowing up of the energy or the feeling of being stuck. If it were the Leo or Neptune card, it would designate creativity and abundance. The fifth house card is all about finding joy in creativity and self-expression with promise of a jubilant return to childhood. It can denote a carnival-like atmosphere where life becomes a three-ring circus, but usually in the best way possible. It is all about multitasking, taking on more than is expected, then making a spectacular success of it. This is the card of mastery and victory. In a deep way such as that, which you already carry inside your heart, all is possible now. The most important thing is to move forward. Beautiful. So this is like Six of Cups energy, this generous, this happy type energy surrounding you guys. Now we're going to get into this 36 um, energy for the 12th house, which is about escape. And I know some of you guys are feeling this energy of wanting to get away, not wanting to be around people. Um, trying to find yourself with this, you know, Eight of Cups energy that's up here, soul searching. So, the 12th house, escape. The lunatic, the lover of the poet, are of imagination, all compact, William Shakespeare. It is time to get on point. It's not a time to ignore or overlook what's there. Things may, be get, may get fragmented. The 12th house of the zodiac is the most mesmerizing of all the houses. Mysticism, dreaming, drowning, vast seas, surrendering are all things that belong to this house of self-undoing. It is also the place in the chart where we last in our judgment and make bad choices like the sign of Pisces that rules it. The 12th house falls at the end of the zodiac, which indicates a type of passage or rebirth. This house contains the meanings of all the signs and planets and all the other houses within it. The 12th house stands for the all. Even though astrologers refer to the 12th house as the gutter or garbage dump of the zodiac, it is still distinct in its meaning. Evolved souls and the doomed live here. Within the 12th house are the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. Ruled by the Neptune, the planet of confusion and drunkenness, prisoners, shut-ins, saints, artists, and mistakes call this home. Imagination, linking up, and connecting to the unknown are all facets of the 12th house. It is where the material and non-physical worlds connect. It is both the beginning and the ending. The 12th house offers bliss, spiritual fulfillment, the meeting up with twin flames. It promises of losing yourself and some beautiful other, but it might be like trying to hold on to a cloud. This house of poetry and oceans is enchantment. It is where we lie to ourselves as well. This house also represents water, toxins, poisons, perfumes, candles, hidden chambers, secreted desires, Christ consciousness, and Mardi Drum. The 12th house tells us to forget about ourselves and live for others, but this may bring confusion and also peril. It is fear and paranoia. It is beauty and love. It teaches us to write poetry and understand the messages from the heavenly spheres. The 12th house inspires us to show great kindness. When the 12th house card comes up in a reading, something is a myth. There is something about the situation you are unsure about or at least are not privy to. All is not as it seems. Without information, it's difficult to move forward. The signals you are getting are probably wrong ones. The medical test you've had, the diagnosis, is not likely accurate. What seems obvious right now is only a marriage of obscured. The Venus or Libra card for with the 12th house may indicate the emerge of an important love affair or relationship. And with the Saturn card, you will soon be showing something you were mistaken over and the results may be shattering. With the Moon card, your visions are profound. With the Mercury of third house card combined with this card, you either write beautifully or you have deep psychic gifts. The warning with this card is to not look to others for fulfillment. And that's the change we were talking about, you guys. 
or to others to give you your purpose, at least not on the current phase. It's either the incorrect time to attempt this or you are looking to the wrong crowd. While the 10th house gives us the truth, the 12th house gives us magic. Each is important and you cannot be all that is without the other. Take heed and search for clarity. Watch out for deception at this time. Wow. So this is like Four of Cups energy. So I feel like there's a there's two different sides um, with these messages that's coming from Spirit and maybe a lot of people that's watching this video. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's time for you to be creative. And for a lot of you guys, it's time for you guys to really find yourself and find your soul purpose. Start taking notes, teaching and learning from other people. Taking um, some advice from other people, but only applying what really does resonate for you during this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, this group number one. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Alright, you guys that chose group number two. Let's go ahead and get right into you guys' reading. Right. So starting with your tarot cards, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the King of Swords. We have the Magician. And we have the Queen of Swords. This is a big message, group number two. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and get into the um, numerology cards as well to see what you guys should mainly be focusing on during this time. So we have number four, Perseverance. We have number 88, Abundance, as well as number 46, Domestic Harmony. And we're going to read about Domestic Harmony. But let's go ahead and get into the spread for real though. So with this knight, you got the magician here, okay? Your messages from your deceased loved ones is straight up saying, listen, you can manifest anything into your life. You can create your reality. I see for a lot of you guys, either you struggle with manifestation or you're learning how abundant you are, how great you are at manifestation, how things really do come to you how you really do speak things into existence a lot of you guys are really going to be realizing this at the start of watching this video or this may be confirmation for you or you guys are going to realize that <clears throat> in the next couple of days or the next couple of weeks few months whenever you're watching this and what i see here with this knight of wands energy you guys are going to be very inspired okay this this information that you're going to be receiving during this week from spirit in your dreams okay because we've got jupiter in pisces right now your dreams are really going to be giving you some signals okay pay attention to that your deceased loved ones your ancestors are saying be enthusiastic be motivated Get up. Let's do this. Let's go. You can do this. And I feel like whatever it is that you guys are going through emotionally, your loved ones want you to know that you got it. They're sending you their best blessings. They're sending you love, peace, harmony, balance. Sending you the creative minds. Take your deep breaths, meditate, plan, exercise. The message that I'm seeing with this King of Swords energy, okay? This is air sign energy, but so this is about what you think, how you think, how you talk to yourself. It's you getting these messages and these downloads to be a professional a lot of you guys are wanting to be entrepreneurs a lot of you guys are trying to level up in your life in your job in your career 
You're changing your life. You're transforming your life. And your loved ones is cheering you on. They're like, oh, you didn't fold. I'm sending you my blessings. I'm sending you my love. I'm sending you this peace and harmony. Don't give up. And, you know, I'm getting this message that I can relate to this. It's this TikTok. I think it's Bryson Tiller. And he's saying, no matter what, keep doing what you're doing. No matter what, keep doing what you're doing. And it keeps playing in my mind. I wish I could just play it right now. You guys need to hear that. You guys need that extra push. You need that encouragement. Keep going. Group number two is really saying keep going. You can manifest anything into your life. You are amazing. You are abundant. You are worthy. This queen of swords energy is saying that you can set boundaries. You are worthy to set boundaries with people who do not serve you. Who do not appreciate you. Set boundaries with yourself. Set goals for yourself. Continue to focus on that self-respect that you have for you. Keep trying with number four, perseverance. This is your time. This is your life. For a lot of you guys, your children are dependent on you. To believe in yourself. Your angels and ancestors. God is, is waiting for you. To kick start this. Believing in yourself. The positive affirmations. Working on your healing. Working on things that may have traumatized you in your past. And it's beautiful. You've got the magician here, which is all about manifestation. Then you got number 88, abundance. Abundance that surrounds you. Abundance that protects you. You have domestic harmony here. And let's talk about it now. Domestic harmony is going to talk about your relationships with people. And some of you guys need to hear this message for domestic harmony when it comes to your relationships with friends, regardless if it's romantic or platonic. You need to hear this message. So let's go ahead and let's read about it. Domestic harmony. This card indicates a time of healing your relationships in your home. This may relate to a troubled relationship with a child, a family member, an ex, or a current partner, house guest, or roommate. It could even relate to problems you have had with the actual house itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within your reach. This card can indicate a time to make a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and desire to take things to the next level. It can also reveal a need to commit to your present residence by extending your lease, deciding not to sell, or making the necessary improvements to turn it into your perfect home. Regardless, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward domestic harmony and peace. Remember, there is no such thing as the perfect relationship, family, or home. Domestic harmony can only be achieved with effort, like I was saying with the manifestation. You put the work in. Compassion. Compromise. By improving your relationships in your home, you will improve your quality of life. The affirmation is, I have happy, harmonious relationships within my happy, harmonious home. You guys, this is your time. This is your time to bring balance in your life, to set boundaries. Your angels and ancestors are cheering you on. They're like, yes, go. Turn up. This is your time. Everything is not what it seems on the outside that's going on in this world. Everything is not what it seems. There's always something else 
that's going on in the background that we don't know about. Keep doing what you're doing. The energy that is surrounding you guys during this time, the messages that are coming through so beautiful. You guys have confidence is your key to success. New Moon and Leo. You have meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Pisces. You have conclusions are within reach. Full Moon Eclipse. And you have prosperity lies ahead. New Moon in Taurus. I see so much success coming you guys way. Be patient with this process. Enjoy the process. Take notes from this process. And see how far you've come within the next three months, the next six months. Your life is about to transform. Your relationships are going to grow, expand, get better. You'll be able to set boundaries with people. You'll be able to manifest things into your reality. This is a huge message. The messages that you guys have from spirit is earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother. Slow down. Time in nature. This is some Taurus energy here. You guys taking time out in nature. Probably going on walks. Paying attention more to your health. Doing more exercises for a lot of you guys. You guys also have called. Okay? This is about your soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. It's time to step up to the plate. It's time for you guys to take your reward. It's time for you guys to take your responsibility of doing more, being more. Manifestations. You guys also have We the Hothers. Okay? <clears throat> Deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Something new is coming into your life. There's a birth of something new coming into your life. For some of you guys, it may be an actual child. For other of you guys, it just may be a new project, a new thing, a new hobby, um, spirituality, something that you connect with more pertaining to spirituality. You guys have two Black Moonology cards that we're going to talk about that you need to know and you need to hear right now. And the sun, number one, spirit is connecting with you guys during this time as well as Aries I am so a lot of you guys you know your ancestor may be a Leo may be an Aries that is speaking to you during this time all right so let's get into it number one Sun the spirit there is a vitality a life force an energy a quickening that is translated through you into action and because there is only one of you in all time this expression is unique the sun is at the center of our lives just as it is trend traditionally in the astrological chart this is why the placement of the sun is the most significant the sun is our spirit our personality it represents along with uranus the anima animating flash of life. The sun signifies who we essentially are. It is also the need to express who we are. In ancient belief, the sun is Amen Ra, the god among all gods, whose name leads to Amen, the word at the end of a prayer. The sun rules over the condition of our bodies. It is the return to the light, the ability to transform and rise again. The sun represents our health, vitality, and dynamism. The sun is our strength and what we put our focus on. It is no surprise that it was the sun early people venerated, then developed into the idea of a life-giving creator. The sun is also the universal spark called spirit that enlivens, enlivens the body. It is our strength. The sun is the desire to bring on the outside would exist on the inside. It is life made manifest. The sun says more than any other planet, I wish to live, I want to thrive. When the sun card presents itself in a spread, 
It adds an encouraging spin to any reading. The sun is all that is good. It is the positivity that trumps anything negative. This card says all eyes are on you. You have the strength and the power to get things done. All things that are truly meaningful are starting to happen now. That manifestation coming through. You are now in a place to lead and inspire. It is through the sun's inspiration and creativity that will enable you to make things materialize. This may be at the front of a group or on a stage or just in a way that you lead with confidence. The sun card gives an emphatic, emphatic yes to your reading. Yes, your team is cheering you on, you guys. Another meaning behind this card is that the summer months are relevant. Summer may be when the wished for event occurs. Parties, events which emphasize creativity and fun, children and childlike adults all figure into the situation. This card also implies an aptitude for acting or just a period where dramatic ability and creative leadership could greatly benefit your mission. You may find yourself singled out, perhaps in a dramatic situation where you show your skills in some impromptu ways, such as giving a speech or teaching a class. It is also a time of generosity and laughter. The spotlight shines on your life. What you are doing now is being noticed. If you are not used to this, you may re act with aloofness avoid foolishness immaturity and any lack of organization during this time or the matter could fall apart at the seams but all in all this is a progressive energetic and card which foretells of prodigious things on the horizon this card indicates what matters that matters will be going your way, but leadership on your part will be necessary. It is time to act and take your place in the sun. And that's that Queen of Swords energy coming through what it said at the end. It is time to act and take your place in the sun. It's time for you to set boundaries with people. It's time for you to speak your mind. It's time for you to say what it is that you need to say. Um, it's time for you to persevere. A lot of you guys may be getting more into meditating, um, taking deep breaths, focusing on yoga. I'm seeing for some of you guys, it's time. The things you've been wanting to do, it's time to go ahead and take action. And you, you guys, so my camera cut off when I got to number 13 for Aries I am and I'm going to go <laughs> through this I need another SD card so this video may be delayed I apologize all right so we have Aries I am the Aries card says that it's okay to push now just don't push too hard Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and the energy of this card is that of a dynamic trailblazer Aries is the fire of creation. This means Arians can be highly creative. Since they are impatient, they are also blunt and to the point. They make no effort to pretend to be something other than what they are, which in their eyes is number one. Everyone needs to understand this. Arians tend to be genuine people who are not into playing games. They like matters to move fast. Since Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, it is represented by the primal human, one who must protect and defend. Aries people are highly ambitious and want to accomplish things quickly and in a no-nonsense way. Competition is what Aries is all about. Many feel the need to compete when the other party doesn't even care to. Traditionally, Aries is a warrior sign, which means being always on the defense ready for action. The Aryan style of relating is that of a catalyst using force, not of a peacemaker. They are interested in sports and a number of Aryans have a fascination with weapons. When this card turns up, expect things to move fast for there is no time to take it step by step. It will all be a mad jump. It may be a time of testing your will. You will work best in situations where you make your own I'm pretty sure it says decisions. Complications, complications. <laughs> okay. Apologize about that. Your own decisions, rather than acting as a underlying, you may. Ciao. 
<laughs> you may even find a supporting cast to help you finish your work. Be responsible and disciplined in all of your actions. You will want to get things started and forge ahead. Do not buckle under the dramas of trivialities of others. This card makes a period where you are forceful and headstrong. You can now forge a direction or path as you have the vision and energy to do so at this time. In love affairs, you will want to take the lead. You may attract spontaneous and enthusiastic lovers. Be ready to reach new plateaus. There may be the opportunity for more than one lover. Be advised to think beyond acting with aggression, especially in emotional dramas and relationships. You or your partner will expect total freedom. However, avoid being quick-tempered because when this card turns up, there is a need for caution. Be steady and measured rather than hot-blooded or impulsive. This marks a time where you need to be sensitive to the concerns of others since you will want to move fast and strong without thinking things through. You may find yourself running into walls. You will not want to compromise right now, but you should do just that. Sometimes its conflicts will not serve you at this time. In fact, it may poison the waters and make matters worse. Care must be taken to not be too foolish or rash. Rash. However, it's time to work for a cause and get things started. Just make sure you finish all that you start. All right. So basically, like I was saying earlier with this energy, you have this fire sign energy, Leo and Aries supporting you guys during this time. And this is a time for you guys to take action, set boundaries. Your angels and ancestors are supporting you during this time through this transition that you're going through, pushing you, you realizing that you're a manifesting king, manifesting queen. And you can allow abundance to come in your life. You can welcome abundance of happiness to come into your life. This domestic harmony that's going on, that's involving your relationships, that may be causing you to have issues with your partner during this time, you guys actually seeing eye to eye and coming to common ground is going to be a big thing that is happening during this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Group number two, I apologize for my SD card going out. I thought I had enough battery. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey everyone that chose group number three, the highlight crystal. Let's go ahead and get right into this reading. All right. So the messages that we're having right now is two of pentacles, the world card, the sun card, as well as the king of wands. And then the numerology cards that you guys have for you to focus on is number 67, physical activity. Number 41, self-discipline. Number nine, completion. So overall, what I can see is some things are gonna be coming to the end to an end, especially with the world card here, but with the sun card being right behind it, after this ending, there's going to be a complete new beginning for you guys. <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into the spread. So let's start off with this two of pentacles energy and the messages that I'm receiving from this. A lot of you guys with this two of pentacles energy, you're trying to juggle more than one thing at a time. Um, it could be your career, your love life, um, a business that you're trying to start, um, you know, communicating more with your children if you have children, bonding with them more, trying to do like 10 different things at once. Um, and it may be causing you to feel like, okay, I'm always busy. I always have something to do and try to figure out how you're going to transform yourself through these different transitions that are going to be happening in your life during the next few weeks, the next month, or whenever you're watching this video. 
and the message that i'm receiving with this world card and the sun card is that change is inevitable things may be coming towards you in different directions stay strong through this process lift your head up Don't put your head down. Keep your head high. Prioritize yourself. Happiness and abundance with the sun card. Your health, your children's health. Staying hydrated. Physical activity. For a lot of you guys, it's time for you guys to start prioritizing your health, your fitness. These are some messages that you're getting. King of Wands. Now with this King of Wands energy, I do see you guys being successful with whatever it is that you're starting new, that you may be shaky about. You're also gonna have to put in a lot of self-discipline, a lot of work. For a lot of you guys, some studying. I'm also getting a message that some of you guys just went through a deep transition recently. And recently could be a year from now when you're watching this video at the most. This transition may have felt like it broken you and put you down and set you back. For some of you guys, a relationship that you were in may have made you feel like you were put back. Made you feel like you were limited. You weren't able to grow, you weren't able to prosper. Relationships with people, whether they're your mother, your father, sister, brother, cousins, Someone that you're romantically in a relationship with. Something of the nature of a relationship could have broken you. And made you feel less than. And now spirit is saying it's time for you to be wise. It's time for you to go for your goals. It's time for you to achieve your goals. It's time to make strategic decisions. It's time to be more self-disciplined with ourselves in order to reach our goals. The energy that is surrounding you guys with the Moonology cards, the first card to come out is expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. There's something changing in your life. The old stuff that you used to do, the message is saying, it's no longer serving you. You guys have a new start. It's coming. With the new moon energy. You have so much new moon energy surrounding you. As well as step out of your comfort zone. With the north node. This is your time. This is your moment to overcome those obstacles. That have been putting you down. The people surrounding you and your environment that no longer serve you. It may be the end of the road for them in your life. <clears throat> the messages from spirit that you guys have at first is the seeds of Mentaka. Okay? This energy is about you seeing potential. Bringing unconsciousness to the light. Are you starting to see that potential in yourself? The things that you want to do, are you putting yourself out there to do it? You guys have forged. Don't follow. Pave a new path. 
Be the leader you wish you had. You guys have star family. You are part of a team of souls. Call in support. It's time for you guys to build up your forces. It's time for you guys to start taking notes. So that people can start taking notes from you. The messages that you guys are needing to hear from the Black Moon Astrology cards are two of them. And they are of fire signs. Jupiter, abundance. Jupiter rules Sagittarius and it co-rules Pisces as well. So a little bit of water energy here. And then you have the fire element, desire. So we're going to talk about that. And how it's relating to the messages that you're getting from spirit from your deceased loved ones that you need to hear right now. So we have number seven. Jupiter, abundance. The lips of the wise are as the doors of a cabinet. No sooner are they open, but treasures are poured out before thee. Aki Naitan. Expect doors to swing open. By far the largest and most magnanimous of all of the heavenly bodies in our solar system. and the Roman Parthenon, Jupiter was referred to as the king of all gods. Jupiter corresponds to the Greek Zeus and the Norse god Odin. Because Jupiter is so vast and expansive, this planet is the gate opener for better luck. The earlier Greeks called the planet Jupiter Parthenon, which meant the brightest star. Because of Jupiter's immensity, it is one of the easiest planets to see with the naked eye. As the ruler of Sagittarius, the centaur, Jupiter has a dual role of being half human and half beast. The Jupiter planet casts off more heat than it takes from the sun and thusly the giant planet is one of the generous, generous and joyfulness. In astrology, it is the great benefit. The soother of hurts and bruises and promises a period of good fortune when hard luck is coming to an end. Similar to Saturn, Jupiter can represent the father and what you have inherited from your father. When the energy of Jupiter enters your reading, you can be assured luck is on your side and fortune shines on you. You are being given not only a gift, but also a gift, a lift if not divine help. Blocks are being removed as you wield influence through your own positivity and goodwill. This is certainly an astrological lucky break, but you won't be able to kick back and rest on your laurels. Instead, you will be required to attend to what you set into place and keep the positivity and attention flowing. You must continue to nurture the energies of the projects or events you have started. Otherwise, they could fall into the entropy of decay. When it comes to providence and fortune, there is always a payment due, some toil or sacrifice on your part, so do keep this in mind. You are on your way. Just don't neglect things or become lax in your endeavors, which are traits of Jupiter as well, meaning the possibility of taking important matters for granted. Because Jupiter can make you feel happy and complacent, you may have to watch out for weight gain and for other ways you indulge. We do have some physical activity here, so a lot of you guys may be thinking about working out. Um, it may be sexual intercourse for some of you guys as well. It is important to keep a watchful eye and not skim over the details in any matter. Since Jupiter is strongly tied to the law and ideas of fairness, you may find your opinions and convictions rather strong at the present time. Jupiter is represented by largeness, so try not to become overbearing as this attitude could sabotage all you have worked for. If you feel at the moment you are in a dark period of time and you have drawn the Jupiter card, be assured blessings are on their way. Doors are opening with generosity and in faith. It is time to walk through them. The Jupiter card gives a positive spin to any reading. Keep this in mind regardless of the surrounding cards. So it doesn't matter what the heck is going on in your life right now. We already see that the messages that you're receiving, which you're needing to hear from your deceased loved ones, some powerful change is about to happen in your life. And it may involve self-discipline. It may involve you getting into working out and caring about, you know, what you're putting into your body and how you're working out your results, what 
what your mindset has changed to the ending of bad habits a new start coming your way you stepping out of your comfort zone you reaping the benefits and the good goodness from god now let's get into number 37 this is the fire element this is about your desires okay so passion through a bad regulator is a powerful spring there are changes coming new movement look for them to be quick the element of fire in astrology is all about beginnings our passions and how fast we get our energy moving it speaks to how rapidly we we react and how long it takes us to accomplish what we set out to do fire is burning determination fire scorches away impurities clearing a landscape for new growth and leaving an area healthier and stronger the signs of aries leo and sagittarius fall under the influence of fire when the fire element card is involved expect changes to be dramatic in an unforgettable way a situation is about to be transformed through a wake-up call or a personal empathy the element of fire is spirit moving and a great indicator of creativity, so now is the time to apply your energy wholeheartedly. Step into this path and find your way. Look at your issue from another perspective and try a unique approach. The fire element card also denotes honesty and suggests you act assertively. You are about to get up front with someone or vice versa. At least you should. And this card says to push it. In any event, you will soon understand where you stand as all your cards will be put on the table. Then you can expect less mystery. Watch out for bossy people when this card comes up. It can indicate a type of bulldozing that will be hard to deal with. Others may claim they are speaking to you from a place of truth and concern, whereas they may not understand the situation very well and not offer the best advice. Also, be careful of others attempting to take over and claiming as theirs what you have created or started this card can imply the ego going out of control but it's important to keep yours in check as well since you are now thinking in larger terms details won't seem to matter as much but it is important to get everything nailed down you may be tempted to fly by the seat of your pants and rely upon spontaneity this is not a bad idea the fire element card says you have good instincts at the moment and will be able to carry it off as long as you are also grounded this is a card of passion therefore if romance is your question this is a compelling attraction at least on the part of one for you however don't make the mistake of attempting to make your love interest jealous if you feel like you are not getting the attention you crave this will surely backfire if the attention strays through don't be afraid to have a backup plan in romance this card can indicate a sudden attraction if it is not meant to be it will burn out fast but if the relationship has legs you will be great supporters and protectors of each other the fire element card is one of new starts y'all we've got new beginnings a uh, new start right here we was talking about new beginnings with um jupiter energy as well as the sun card being here the element card is one of the new stars often after the past has been burned away completion and denotes a period where you start anew be honest in your approach any arrogance will be your enemy you will have the zeal to get things done in the way you want as far as your life is concerned the pot is being stirred lastly show caution with objects that have a fiery or electrical nature so you guys this is your time to start something new this is your time to dabble into what you're passionate about to focus more on your passions to follow your dreams regardless of what's going on around you regardless of the people who are surrounded by you changing up your routine i believe that was with group number one their angels and ancestors were letting them know it's time to change up your routine switch up some things and i feel like you guys your message is telling you some things are about to change some things are about to come to an end and it's going to open up the doors for you to be able to step out of your comfort zone and accept the abundance that's coming to you and also giving yourself the self-discipline to be able to achieve your dreams and your goals 
all right i hope you guys enjoyed this reading group number three your messages from your deceased loved ones please give it a thumbs up leave comments down below subscribe hit the notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload and i'll see you guys in my next one bye hey everyone that chose group number four let's go ahead and get right into you guys this reading all right so starting with the tarot cards, you guys have the Three of Cups energy. You have the Queen of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords. And then you guys have the Eight of Cups. So some of you guys may have been drawn to group number one. If you didn't pay attention, um, if you didn't watch group number one already, I highly recommend to check it out. Um, number 44, your environment. This is um, with the numerology cards. This is what you guys should be focusing on during this time. You have number 37, which is time out, as well as number 48, financial discipline. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's talk about it a little bit. All right, so no major arcana cards here, but the main thing I'm seeing here with this cups energy, there's a lot of emotions that's been going on that may be dealing with your finances especially with financial discipline being here your messages are saying that you have so much to be happy about you have so much good going on for you that you don't really realize and during this moment in time let's show gratitude I'm so thankful and grateful for my life. I am so thankful and grateful for the loyal friends that I have. Even if it's just one friend, you guys. I am so thankful and grateful for my children or for my child. I am so thankful and grateful for my income. I am so thankful and grateful for my health being well. I am so thankful and grateful for my health being well. The messages that I'm getting from Spirit right now is like, it's time to show gratitude. No more complaining. You are on the right path. You are on the right track. Whatever that is happening right now, it is a part of your spiritual journey. It is a part of your journey. What's going on right now, the people that you're surrounded with, the people you are involved with, this energy is letting us know. There's something that you're going to learn from this. This Three of Cups energy is all about celebrations. It's all about cooperating with people, communicating with people, collaborations, exchanging knowledge. Spirit is saying to surround yourself with like-minded people. People who understand you. People who are smarter than you that can teach you something and help you elevate and grow like you want to, like you dream to. With this Queen of Cups energy, Spirit is also saying the nervousness, the anxiety that you get needs to be worked on. Meditation, yoga, I keep getting yoga. I believe I said this for group number one, getting into yoga, stretching your body, allowing your body to stretch, allowing your blood to flow easier throughout the body from stretches, from yoga, working on healing from past traumas, journaling. Communicating with someone. I'm also getting the message therapy. Needing therapy. Needing someone to vent to that will not judge you. Or will help you. 
fix the healing or help you throughout the healing process. This Ace of Swords energy is all about success. It's all about starting something new. It's all, it's all about being successful and wanting more for yourself, wanting to level up. And your deceased loved ones are saying you can do it. But in order to level up, we have to accept what the trauma was, go through it, understand it, start the healing process from it. Start finding ourselves soul searching with this Eight of Cups energy. Finding out who you are. With the environment is telling us this energy with the environment is telling us who is in our circle, who are we in associating our energy with. Realizing who are the energy vampires in our lives. Detoxing is a must. Time out, taking a time out from other people, their dramas, everything that they have going on. You don't have to save everybody. You can't save everybody. Save yourself. Financial discipline. You may be financially stable, but you may need to have financial discipline with always giving, giving financially. The energy that is surrounding you with these moonology cards is don't let pride get in your way with the full moon in Leo. You guys also have a personal issue reaches resolution with this full moon in Cancer as well as a time to give rather than to take. The advice that you give others, are you willing to take that advice? That's a strong question. Can you do what you tell other people to do? Don't let your pride get in the way of you soaring, growing. You not wanting to realize that you do need help when it comes to healing or things that may have traumatized you. You guys have the messages from spirit here. The first card is the blue flame. This is a spontaneous awakening. This is you activating. This is integration time. This is really you finding your true self, your soul's purpose. Spirit is saying to jump in. When you jump in to this Andromedian energy, you're going to be very adventurous. It's telling you to say yes to this change. It's inevitable. Either you move with it or get left behind. That's the type of energy that I'm getting. The golden children. This is really telling us that you are the chosen one. You, the inner child, the tenderness, the innocence, your rare gifts. It's time to bring it out into the world. Your rare gifts are needed. And what it is that you guys are needing to hear, you have two cards, number 18 and number 10. Number 18 is Virgo energy. I analyze. And you guys also have Neptune, which is number 10, sacrifice. So let's go ahead and get into it. Number 18, Virgo. <clears throat> I analyze. Do not anticipate trouble or worry about what may never happen. Keep in the sunlight. Worry and organization are the key traits of the sign Virgo and of this card. Virgo is picky and exacting. They can be insanely organized. They are very helpful to others. They tend to be critical, but usually this criticism is applied to themselves. They are conscientious and highly intelligent. Virgo natives prefer to step back and analyze before moving ahead. Virgos are true worry warts. Much of their worry focuses on health, possible disasters, and any sudden change which they dread. They would much prefer a return to simpler times. 
The sign of Virgo governs the sixth house of health, natural remedies, and analysis. Diet and nutrition are also dominant themes for this Mercury-ruled sign. Virgo, natives make the best doctors, nurses, health workers, teachers, and librarians. They are excellent writers, but not so much public speakers. They abhor bringing attention upon themselves as they feel they might attract criticism. They have brains that buzz like bees, and this can be exhausting. Virgos are highly strong. They overthink. They plan against what might go wrong and hate it when things do go wrong. Virgos shy away from chaos and DTS disarray. It isn't unusual for Virgo natives to keep books and musical collections in alphabetical order. The everyday chaos of life causes them to fret, leaving them restless and nervous. They tend to suppress what they are feeling which can bring on stress related illnesses this born under the sign love cleanliness and have diligent hygiene habits they fear disease and germs if this card presents itself during a reading look to concerns about your health your lifestyle and your job if you are expecting things to go normally or as planned that will not likely be the case watch out for critical people who seem to pick at all you do or perhaps you are now the picky person your mind may be beluggered by worries, some of them health-related. Other worries may be that things have gotten out of control. This card sometimes indicates hospital doors, meaning medical tests and visits to the doctor, alternative health approaches, and a better diet may appeal to you now. Dealing with health issues, the workings of your own body as well as those of your family or friends may factor in, but you could be beluggered by worries that are bordered by hypochondria. You may feel you have every disease you read or learn about. You may begin to have symptoms with little explanation as to why they occur. You may go for medical tests, but this card does not necessarily indicate a serious illness. This card also signifies a good time to get rid of your clutter, living a cleaner life, focusing on details and doing what needs to be done are now your focus. Other concerns would be your daily routine, nine to five responsibilities and mundane goings on that may need your attention. Getting organized will enable you to get where you're going. This card also suggests you need to be more reliable in your approach. Problems won't go away. You must work and they must be addressed. Virgo is a gentle sign, typically mild in nature, with a fondness for small animals as well as feelings toward the planet world. Being at one with nature, noticing the important details, being fully present in your work, drawing upon the wisdom of the critical mind as well as attention to health and diet are all subjects associated with this card. So with this Virgo energy and with this card, it's letting us know that there's some things that you may be critical of. A lot of you guys may be overcritical of yourself with things that you're wanting to do in your life. And it's time to, you know, give to yourself. It's time to um, release, you know, resolve that personal issue that you may be going through with this full moon and cancer energy. Finding yourself, soul searching yourself and getting to the root cause of any issues that are going on. You guys have number 10, which is Neptune, which is all about sacrifice. So the whole idea of compassion is based on a keen awareness of the interdependence of all these living beings, which are all part of one another and involved in one another. You are being directed into an area which may feel like it is unknowable. Surrendering to the mystery may work best now. Although ne nebulous, hazy, and indirect, the energy of Neptune is one of the easiest to see. Where Neptune is placed in a chart is where we are most inspired, but also an area where we deceive ourselves. It is the place of mishaps bringing on undercurrents of strangeness. For so many, Neptune is the source of many troubles since this card indicates escapism as well as beauty. Dreams, film, art, disappointment, and revere all fall under the rulership of Neptune. Refusing to look at what's real or simply being unable to, as well as seeing enemies as friends and vice versa, are all traits brought on by this watery planet. This is a time where some may try to manipulate with their crisis and rescue, cycles ex exhausting friends and family with their many problems. 
there may be a lack of boundaries and confusion where some may orchestrate their victimhood. Be very certain that the victim is not you. Neptune is a place of beauty and that which is e ethereal and not so easily reached. Neptune is inspired visions coupled by nebulous thinking. Neptune represents glamour, and the word glamour coming from the French word grimorite, grimory, and connected to the word grammar, meaning to create magic or to cast a spell. This card indicates poetry, music, art, and psychic mediumship. <laughs> This is a mediumship reading, but also nebulous thinking. When it shows in a reading, many words spoken or promises given are either poetry from the gods and higher realms or words, which may be lies. But more positively, these may be messages from spirits or the tapping into your own higher awareness with the Neptune card, it will be difficult to get to the bottom of the issue. You may see smoke and mirrors, find yourself engulfed in nefarious mists with blame cast on the wrong person or reason. With this card, you want to be absolutely clear and out front with everything. Neptune is the planet of sacrifice, so you may be asked to sacrifice something, usually related to ego for some, greater good and we have right here the full moon in leo don't let pride get in your way neptune represents our link to the all and governs the last sign of the zodiac pisces it's connected to everything in the past present and the future neptune shows where we are vulnerable and also where we want to escape to there are opposites in all higher things lovers can become porn stars revere becomes drunkenness and dreams turn into nightmares unfortunately neptune represents self-destructiveness and self-sabotage you may be caught in a situation which is unclear the reasons behind it may not make sense or are being withheld from you another manifestation of this card is that you may find difficulties getting on the right path or in clarifying a direction this is the eight of cups you guys are really trying to soul search yourself keep searching keep finding things out about you start on this healing journey you guys with this queen of cups energy on the other hand you may be extremely tuned in at the present time sensing emotions queen of cups three of cups eight of cups all right having visions and if this is the case what is below the surface is now being brought out be careful of trickery and playing emotional games if a beautiful person enters your life test the relationship he or she may be too good to be true or the love of your life this planet also represents slay of hand tricks yet also a supernatural type of creativity you cannot be a poet or a mystic without the rays of neptune influencing you it is like falling off the edge of our universe into places we trust but have no concrete idea about so beware of deception and confusion but at least there will be poetry or river air wow i hope you guys enjoyed that portion right there because that you know these are the highs of the highs the lows of the lows with neptune energy is pisces energy you know good things can happen bad things can happen but all in all your environment is important what you're feeding yourself your self-esteem finding who your true self is during this time it's really going to get you where you need to be in this moment and in the future i hope you guys enjoyed this reading please give it a thumbs up leave comments down below subscribe hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload and i will see you guys in my next one bye